the first discussion is about popular notions, not what you now understand because you read through the book. What most people think or understand about Samatha and Vipassana. So please make sure that you just compile the list of popular notions of what most people think. People have not read this book before or, or what you thought before you read the book. Okay, or before you attended any of the workshops. Now what's going to happen in this first discussion is that there will be someone in one particular group who will be keying in the conclusions of that particular group. And at the end of the discussion, you will pass the soft copy to me and I will put it into my hard drive. After that, I will project it on the screen and I will get everybody's consensus. If there's anything uh, missing there you want to add, you can also add. If you feel that, that it's not appropriate, you want to change it, we can also edit it. Right? In that way, it will save time. So there will be no presentation for the first discussion. Uh, just a compilation and getting a consensus of everybody here. Okay, shall we go through item by item? Look at Samatha, the aim of Samatha according to this group is calmness, uh, peacefulness, tranquility, there's one, and then concentration, another, and then focus, clarity, unified. Okay, do we agree with the first one? I'm talking about popular notions, please. Not what you understand after you read through this book. Okay? Alright, next one, concentration also? Okay. Focus? Would you put that under concentration? That's the same, right? So we just put it under there. Clarity? Is this a popular notion? I don't think so. Uh, what do you think? I don't think this is a popular notion, right? There is more, yeah, the first one, yes, and second one, yes. Okay, I just delete this. Unified? Yeah. It is? Okay. Any group has anything else you want to add? Is this good, good enough? Stillness of mind. Stillness of mind, would it be under calmness, or peacefulness, or tranquility? Right, it's the same, right? Unified. Well, I don't know what, what unified really means. <laughs> Who wrote this? Okay, which group wrote this? Can you please clarify what does unify mean to you? Unify broadband? <laughs> uh, morning, Bhante. For us, uh, unified means the, the mind is not scattered. Yeah, it can come together. It is not running uh, all over the place. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. All... Okay, thank you. Yeah. Object, breath, kasina, four Brahma Vihara. Yeah? Okay. Visualization. Okay. Chanting, I, was, I suppose, is under mantra. La. Same, right? Or oh, maybe you want to put it different. Okay, anyone else? Is this, is this good enough? Huh? Concept. Okay, anyone else? Go on to the next one. Mode is with respect to the object. When the Samatha Yogi looks at the object of meditation, how does he relate towards it? Focus on one single object. Focus on rising and falling, is it? For example, rising and falling, I think that's what he's saying. I don't know. Um, yeah, group nine. Rising and falling means what? Rising and falling of the abdomen? What is this rising and falling doing here? Are you sure this is a popular notion? Think so. Yeah, uh, do you all agree? Uh, do you all agree that, you know, uh, watching the rising and falling of the abdomen is samatha? No, okay, forget it. <laughs> not, not a popular opinion. Okay, that's all right. Shall we go on? 
Uh, next one is feature with respect to the five senses. How does the Samatha Yogi handle the five senses? Cut off the five senses, wrong spelling. This okay? Do you, anything to add? Agree? Okay, let's go on to the next one. Calmness, state of awareness. What do the explanations to the notes say? Yeah, either it's restricted or expensive. This doesn't seem to answer the question. So, um, what would you suggest to change this? State is quality of alertness. Quality of alertness while engaged in meditation. Is the field of awareness restricted or expensive? That is the question. Is it restrictive or expensive? Okay, so this sun is restrictive. Next, thoughts. How to relate to thoughts? How the mind relates to thoughts here, minimum thoughts or no thoughts? Stillness and calmness of mind. No, this doesn't really answer the question. How does the mind relate to thoughts? When thoughts arise in, uh, for a Samatha Yogi, what does it do to the thoughts? Right? Ignore. Ignore? What else? Push away? Suppress? Press, suppress, okay. Again? Substitute. Subdue. Somebody say subdue, somebody say substitute. <laughs> substitute with what? This is a popular notion or your understanding after reading through this book. Ah, so, <laughs> popular notion only, please. This is good enough, right? Okay. Uh, hindrances, how does the Samatha Yogi handle the hindrances? How to abandon them? Suppress the five hindrances? Are you sure this is a uh, Samatha practice? Yeah? This is a popular notion of a Samatha practice. How do you control the monkey mind? Ignore. Ignore, okay, ignore. Next group, what does the group say? Let go. Is that your group? This is your... Yeah? Is it? Let go. Ah? Is that the Samatha or Vipassana? Huh? Both. Ah? Huh? Okay. Um, how many groups here agree that is uh, letting go? As a popular notion? Nobody agrees. Ah? <laughs> so it's not, pop not popular. <laughs> Okay, I think that's good enough. On to the next one, uh, Vipassana. What is the aim of Vipassana? Clear knowing, investigation, insight, eradication of defilements, three evil roots, seeing reality and wisdom. The aim of Vipassana, is you, would you call it investigation or how can investigation be the aim of Vipassana? That is the mode of Vipassana, you could say. It cannot be the aim. The aim is what? Clear knowing. Insight. Eradication of defilements. Uh, seeing reality. Wisdom. Same as insight or not? Same lah. Huh? Seeing reality. That's all right. Liberation. Next, we go on to the object of focus or object meditation subject for the Vipassana Yogi. Four foundations of mindfulness. Anything else to add? Ultimate reality. Okay, let's go on. Next one. What is the mode? What does a Vipassana Yogi do to the object? How does he behave or relate to the object, the meditation object? Clear comprehension. That's one. Is this good enough? Observe it as it is. Okay, let's go on to the next one. 
with respect to the five senses, how does the Vipassana Yogi relate to the five senses? Recognize this one, this who wrote this? Uh, this one is not a popular, it doesn't seem like a popular notion. This one looks like somebody who came to my workshop before and writing this down. How does the Vipassana Yogi relate to the five senses? What do most people think? No, not what you think. Yeah, the popular uh, notion. Okay, next group. What, you, what is your group's opinion? Feature, feature. Oh, yeah, yeah. We are the feature, right, with respect to the five senses. Observe them. Observe the five senses. Anyone else? Yes. Aware. Same now. Aware, observe. State of awareness, is it expensive or is it restrictive? Expensive means m many objects, you know, restrictive means just one object. Okay. Next is how to relate to thoughts. Mindfulness of rising. Observe them rising and passing away, is it? What, what do you actually mean by mindfulness of rising and falling? This is thoughts or is it thoughts or rising and falling of the abdomen? Okay. Thoughts are watched but not proliferated. They will not add on to the thoughts. No one else? Okay, shall we move on? Investigation. Investigation of the rise and fall. Do skillful way of meta and effort of energy, faith, motivation, good teacher. Wow, a lot of things, eh? <laughs> wow, this is Mipasana Yugi, does so many things. Are you sure this is a popular notion uh, that you do meta when you do Vipassana? I don't think so, eh? No, 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 this, this, this is not, I mean. <laughs> Okay, anyone else has anything? Yes. Yeah, here it says investigate. You know, same, you see. Watch them come and go. You investigate, then come and go, isn't it? Same thing. Uh. Put more right effort. What is right effort? But don't you put right effort when you do the samatha as well? Same. Ah. So what's the difference? Not. We pasana, I think we have to put right attitude and uh, put more right effort, meaning that we do uh, more dana, do more wholesome thing. Right attitude means... Is that your personal opinion or is this a popular opinion? My personal No, opinion. thank you. I just want a popular opinion. You see, you guys cannot be objective, you know, always putting in your own personal opinion. I want popular opinion. You just tap back and look. What do most people think? Not what you think. <laughs> now we have surveyed popular notions about Samatha and Vipassana in an objective and systematic way. We have reached a consensus and listed the items in a table, as you can see on the screen. This will be printed out and distributed to all of you so that you can start thinking about these popular notions. Then, towards the end of the workshop, under discussion topic number D20, you will be required to rate each notion according to the key right under the heading here. See? One refers to the sutta, two, what is implicit in the sutta, three, to the commentary, and four, to personal opinion. For example, take a look at the third cell, the object of samatha, which is written here as breath, kasina, for Brahma Viharas. So what you need to do is to rate this notion according to whether it comes directly from the suttas. If so, then you write one. If it's not directly found in the suttas but is implied in the suttas, then you write two. If it doesn't come directly from the suttas, 
nor is it implied in the suttas, but it comes from the commentaries, then you write three. It's none of the above, then you write four, which indicates that it's just a personal opinion. However, to be able to do that, you need to go through the rest of the workshop, where in the next section, part two, we will establish the hierarchy of scriptural authority, and in part three, we should explore the scriptures. <laughs>